freakiest thing I've ever heard in a swamp story time in response to Elite 82's question. Now, I've heard a few things, but the one that freaked me out the worst happened on a turkey hunt. Went early morning, crack of daylight, heard a early guy one took out. Trooping through this pile metal bottom and uh, got to whatever point I decided on and set up, made a call, no turkey response. Another call or two, still no response. I stroked it a little bit louder, get a response. But it was, <laughs> or something like that. I can't do a mountain lion, but that's what it was. And he was about 80 yards out there. In that pale metal bottom and I couldn't see him. And it was the first one, well, maybe the second one I'd ever heard in my life. And that ain't the place for it. Not in the middle of Swamp and Turkey Woods, I can promise you. They're not common in Louisiana. They do pass through fairly regular, but not often. Uh, that was the first close and sure enough encounter for me. And at that time, it stood the hair up on my arm and cold chilled my body because it is a freaky sound in person. And 10 times, maybe a hundred times the volume and depth and emotion of a bobcat's best quill. It's real. So I got a little freaked out. But my response to that was make another call and find out where he's at. Locate him better. So I made another turkey call and he done it again to that call. Uh, well, this time I, I had already had hand on shotgun. I was like, that's enough of all this crap. I don't know exactly how to deal with the mountain lion and I don't feel like it this morning. So I, I was stood up and I kept a general point in that direction and I literally backed up for a hundred and a half, two hundred yards. Take a glance back at where I was going and right back to those woods and walk backwards four or five steps. Take a glance, four or five more steps. And I cleared that passage to get out. Now, uh, later in life, I saw one. Uh, in fact, a guy on my deer lease right here got a picture of one, maybe a quarter of a mile right straight back here. And uh, I've heard them a couple, four or five times. I've seen them plenty in Colorado. And that's a whole different mountain cougar. Don't even bother you. Oh, there's another one. But down here, well, flatland boys don't know exactly how to deal with that first time or two. Uh, no learning lesson from it other than it's probably better to go away from a mountain lion than it is to hang out with them. 